Ah, unit five. We look at the feasibility analysis of new venture and new venture financing. Uh, a feasibility study uh, is the search for the business uh, practicability, the profitability, and the viability of the business. So it needs to be carried out by the entrepreneur itself or an assigned agent. There's no point going into business uh, blindfolded. So feasibility analysis is all about Questioning the concept you brought out, the concept you you want to pursue, is ascertaining the components of what you are doing, whether they are in place, whether they are easy to execute. Some people go to pick other people's feasibility study. I was told that people go they rip off other people's uh, uh, company, which is unethical. I just uh, put the name of the country. Sometimes when you are reading, uh, somewhere in between, you will be reading about another company. The feasibility study, it may cost you money, but it's for your own good. You will save a lot when you do the right thing. So the, the feasibility study, when it is well done, it makes it, it easy for you to execute your business. You recognize what is your biggest obstacle and try to tackle them before you you, you move ahead. A good uh, feasibility analysis will supply the historical setting of the business. It will describe the product and services in details. Uh, it will give you the financial profile of the intended business the data information on the operation of the business. It's not only new businesses that do feasibility study. Sometimes even if you're already in business, you need an expansion of your business. You still do feasibility analysis because uh, you may be doing the feasibility analysis and you find out that your competitors have uh, occupied whatever uh, any space that is left. And you see that it's not feasible to do that expansion or that the environment where you are you need a new environment in order to realize uh, your objective the issue of management who are the managers what are their qualifications the issue of market research you do the market research to find out the how the market space is and what is going on there, the, the distribution strategy and all. You look at the other strategies, including legal necessities. Uh, we have just finished talking about the legal issues. It is very, very critical in business because like I said earlier, if you, if you, if you walk contrary to the laws of the land or the legal requirements of the business you are doing, you is almost committing suicide because you must have put in a lot of effort in your business and it will be closed up. You will liquidate yourself because you didn't uh, uh, do the right thing. And sometimes people come when there is something you have not done well. They come and you give them, they say, they tell me that is a Nigerian style. You give them some little bribe so that they will overlook. When they overlook, when the administration that overlooked just move away, the new administration will come and do the right thing. And then you will find out that you you spent more than double what you could have done. So it's always good to do the right thing. Don't try to ward off uh, uh, officials that are demanding for legal uh, requirements. The best thing to do the right thing, and when you do the right thing once, you keep your documents, and anytime anybody questions you, you show you are what you need to do. Then a feasibility study uncovers uh, the strength and weakness of the proposed venture, the opportunities and threats present in the environment. 
the resources required to carry the business to success. Until we meet again, bye for now.